there are song and shorebird populations teetering on the brink of extinction. In many cases, this is primarily due to habitat loss or fragmentation. But what could tip the balance of whether the species survives or not in the immediate future is how many of the remaining birds are killed by domestic cats. Domestic cats and migratory birds. Do the rights of one cat ever trump the fate of an entire bird population? The answer to the question is likely clear in your mind. It is either yes or it is no. I'm not exaggerating. There is no clever riddle to work out here. Most people feel a great deal of conviction in their answer, even though not everyone will answer the same way. On the one hand, there are song and shorebird populations teetering on the brink of extinction. In many cases, this is primarily due to habitat loss or fragmentation. But what could tip the balance of whether the species survives or not in the immediate future is how many of the remaining birds are killed by domestic cats. Cats are insult to injury to dwindling bird populations and dangerously so. On the other hand, there are cats stalking and killing rodents, insects, pesky invasive starlings, and yes, perilously endangered birds. The cats are not malicious or sociopathic, they are simply being cats. They are doing exactly what cats do, nothing more, and without malicious intent. No one is entirely sure how many birds, reptiles, and small animals are killed by cats every year, but the number is thought to be enormous. Next to habitat loss, cats may be the largest threat to migratory birds, and migratory bird numbers are diminishing at an ever-increasing rate. The solution appears to be easy. Keep your cats indoors. However, appearances, as they say, can be deceiving. You see, the problem is not primarily with house cats, but with feral cats. Like any other successful invasive species, their adaptability and their prolific reproduction make feral cats difficult to control, and therefore the problem is not easily eradicated. More significantly, these feral creatures are still the familiar domestic house cats that we know and love. Eliminating them is unthinkable. People really are fond of cats. So fond, in fact, that we pour enormous sums of money into feral cat colony care and small-scale trap-neuter release programs. We put food outside, regardless of the circumstance, because it's difficult to see a cat suffer. We see cats as individuals far more easily than we see birds, snakes, and rats as individuals. Birds are intangible populations. Birds are not very cuddly. We have no one to blame but ourselves for the feral cat problem, which also lays the burden of the solution squarely on our metaphoric shoulders. It is our responsibility to fix it. No one wants to kill cats, and no one wants to lose the morning bird chorus. We need some ingenuity and imagination, and we need it quickly.